Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Vikram Jayaprakash. I'm Dr. Russell Nudson. And welcome back to the Hair Loss Show. In today's episode, we're going to talk about uh, a side effect of uh, using oral minoxidil. Uh, some people experience excessive uh, body hair uh, and how to manage that. So stick around and we'll, we'll go through that. Welcome to the Hair Loss Show. Dr. Russell Nudson and Dr. Vikram Jayaprakash discuss issues relating to hair loss and the medical and surgical treatment of hair loss in both men and women. So let's just remind everybody that uh, minoxidil was originally used to treat high blood pressure. Uh, typically it was a 10 milligram tablet, one or two of those a day. And about 80% of people uh, that were using it, men and women, got excessive or uh, augmented uh, growth on their body or on their face. Uh, and for the men, that may not have been particularly bothersome, but for the women, it was pretty horrifying. Mm, yeah, it can be really uh, perturbing for, for women to experience increased uh, body hair or, and or facial hair as well. So, but it's reversible. Correct. So let's just remember this too, that if you stop minoxidil, it might take a couple of months, three, four months, but it will reverse down to exactly the way you were before you had it, if you get this. Yes. So uh, oral minoxidil, fantastic medication. Right, and certainly in women, and we've talked about this before, uh, from a compliance perspective, the thought of for some women applying uh, a solution to their scalp, it makes the hair all greasy. Very they, big grooming problems. Exactly, yes. uh, and so you know that using that in the long term, that sort of falls by the wayside. So in that scenario, for especially for women, oral minoxidil, absolute godsend because they can use it regularly, it's a pill they take. Now, if you, as a female, are not very hairy at all, then usually it's not going to be a problem. Yeah. Okay, but there are women that have a bit more natural hair on their face and on their body, and that's where it can be stimulating um, a little bit too much. So uh, when you're using oral minoxidil, the secret is to start low. So if you start at, say, a half a milligram mm -hmm. or one milligram, um, and then that's usually a pretty good starting dose. Um, a bit, so I assess the women, have a look at their, yes. you know, the amount of hair they have. Because it's a risk-reward kind of thing that you're going to have to try and balance out, isn't it? Well, if they get it, some women are horrified and want to stop. And then we wait till it recovers and then we lower it and start with a lower mm. dose. Some women on the risk-reward ratio say, I would rather, because I can notice the improvement in my scalp yes. hair, I'd rather wax my facial hair mm -hmm. off. Um, you know, that would, that's a better outcome for me uh, uh, than stopping the medication. Yes. And I think that's, that's very true because, you know, there's that game whack-a-mole. It can feel a little bit like playing that whack-a-mole game where you, you're giving a tablet to try and, you know, sort one issue out and then another issue comes in its place. But I think, you know, yes, modulating the, the dose would be critical in that aspect and trying to find the balance point. But for some uh, women that, you know, may, they'll be harder to attain. And certainly I think uh, if you look at the field of cosmetics and you look at the field of laser hair removal, certainly over the last 10, 15 years, things have improved significantly that now you can really, you know, quite um, effectively remove hair using these devices That's right. relatively painlessly. So people can wax, yes. uh, for example. The laser that you talked about is fine if you have dark hair. Mm. Uh, laser hair removal is not very effective uh, for people with lighter hair colours because the laser needs to be able to pick uh, the difference between uh, the colour in the hair and the colour in the skin to actually only um, select the hair. Yes. So the lighter your hair, the less that laser is going to be effective in that situation. So not everybody's suitable um, for that, but certainly waxing. Um, old school electrolysis, mm. um, you know, that's a fairly inefficient and, yes. uh, and painful way to do it, so I'm not, not a fan. But I think that uh, there are lots of waxing products out there. And uh, if you have darker hair, certainly um, you can have a look at the great new technologies with laser hair removal because mm -hmm. the, the, the Pico lasers, for example, um, are terrific. Yes. Um, at, at, at being very, very target specific and not causing you know, too much effect to the skin around it. And there's the very little downtime from, from that side of things. Right. So I think essentially it's, it's a twofold strategy, right? So finding out the dose that is optimal for that individual patient and using these other methods to try and reduce so the if you So if you get the side effect and you're unhappy with it, it doesn't mean you can't use the medication. We just have to find a way uh, to bring it in a dose, whether it's a quarter of a milligram or a half a milligram. Uh, because if you're that sensitive,
sensitive to it, you're probably going to respond well even to a low yes. dose. So I think that's the thing to remember that, you know, everything has, everything that we do in medicine has a cost benefit analysis. And, and we can reduce the dose. We can, you know, we can, we can, even if we need to compound a specific dose for that individual that may not be readily commercially available uh, in the pharmacies, we can get it compounded specific for that. Yes, for that well, there individual. is only one dose of oral minoxidil available right, in yes, Australia, yeah. so we're going to have to compound it if we're going to play with the, uh, play with the dosing. But, um, but we are both big fans of this idea of customising the treatment to the patient. And so, you know, we assess everybody individually and we manage them individually because it's not a one-size-fits-all right. with any of these medications. And we just want to find that sweet spot where we get the effect we want without too much side effect that's Absolutely. going to bother anybody. That's the holy grail, isn't it? Yes, it is. Fantastic. Well, look, I think that's a really good uh, recap on, on how to manage uh, the minoxyl. Uh, thanks again for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. And we look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Thanks for all your support. Take care. Cheers.